So today we're going to do a quick review of slope-intercept form, and then we're going to lear learn a new form called point-slope form. So just a quick reminder, slope-intercept form is the form of equation y equals mx plus b, remember? So with a coefficient of x is your slope and b is your y-intercept. So what I'd like you to do is stop the video and try problems 1, 2, and 3, and then when you get to number 4, tune back in. So the first two are probably pretty straightforward because I'm giving you the slope and I'm giving you the y-intercept, so we just write the equation. And then here, you just had to recognize that the ordered pair 0, negative 5 is a y-intercept, so that's the constant. Number three, when you get to number three, you're given the y-intercept, so you know it's going to have to be plus four. But you're given two ordered pairs, so you actually have to use the two ordered pairs to find the slope. And so I went ahead and found the slope, and I got negative two-thirds. Now, when we get to number four, you're given two ordered pairs, so one thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find the slope. So on the top, I've got five minus negative five, which is five plus five, and then eight minus three. And so I'm going to get ten over 5, and 10 over 5 is 2. So here, we know that the slope is 2. However, I don't know the y-intercept. And right now, the only way that I can find the y-intercept is to graph it and then find the y-intercept that way. But we're not going to do that. There is another form now. And another form is point-slope form. And that's what's right below here. So let's learn about point-slope form. Point-slope form is, um, it, it, it's a form where it will give you a point, not, necessar not necessarily the y-intercept, but it will give you an ordered pair on the line and the slope. And so the form is somewhat confusing to start with, but then it's pretty simple. So it says y minus y1 equals m, and then in parentheses it has x minus x1. And so if you look, the point is the x1, y1, and the slope is m, obviously. So whatever number goes here, that's the slope. And then this is the y value of the point, and this is the x value of the point. So suppose, let's just put this stuff in this form. Suppose I give you the slope and a point, and I say write this in point-slope form. So let's go ahead. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write y minus, well, y1 is the y value, so that's negative 3. So let me just write here. I'm going to write it out. y minus negative 3 equals the m, which is 2, and then x minus the x value, and the x value is negative 1. So here, I'm going to put that in brackets now. So now if you look at that, minus a negative is a plus, right? So really the form would say y plus 3 equals 2, and then in the parentheses, x plus 1. So what you're doing when you're writing the form is you are filling in the x and y value into the y1 and the x1 spot, and you're filling in the slope into the m spot. Just a reminder in all of these forms, the x and the y that are left in the equation, this is the rule for all of the ordered pairs that fall on the line, right? So this is just one point on the line, this is the slope, and any ordered pair along the line, we could fill into the form for x and y, and it would make the equation true. So every form is gonna have an x and a y in it that represents the other ordered pairs on the line. So let's do another one. Number two, m equals negative seven, and the ordered pair is one, negative one. So now I'm gonna put this down here. So now I'm gonna start with y minus y one. So I'm gonna start with y minus, the y value of this point's negative one. Well, y minus negative one is really plus one, right? Equals m is negative seven, negative seven, and then in parentheses, I'm gonna have x minus the x value. Well, the x value is one, so it's x minus one. And then this is the form. That's a negative seven there, okay? Let's take a look at number three. So number three is gonna be y minus the y value of the point. Well, the y value of the point is negative two, which is gonna end up making this y plus two equals the slope, the slope is negative two which then I'm going to have x minus negative 5, which is going to be x plus 5. And so the next one is going to be 
y minus the y value, well the y value is 5, so y minus 5 equals the slope, the slope is 2 thirds, and then in parentheses I'm going to have x minus the x value, which is 2, okay? So now we're going to take these, like the forms, and you're going to pull out the point in the slope. So I want you to pay really close attention to what just happened. When your points were negative, look at their positive in the form. So if we're going from here to here, the point that this line goes through is negative one, negative three, right? And like, so let's look at this one. The x value, because it says minus one in the form, it was positive one. And here it says positive one in the form, but it was actually the point negative one. So keep in mind, look up here for a second, because we're subtracting the x and the y, when you're pulling the point out of the form, you're actually pulling the opposite of the term. So let's go ahead and do the next couple. So for this one, we have the form. It's very simple to get the slope. The slope is just the number right in front of the parentheses. So the slope here is going to be 5. And now the ordered pair is positive 2, positive 6. Okay, this is the x value, this is the y value, and the subtract. we're doing the opposite of the sign. So number 6 the slope is going to be one half, and then the ordered pair that it goes through is going to be four, negative two, right? Because remember when we're putting something into the form, the sign will change if it's a negative. The sign will not if it's a positive. So now go ahead, stop the video, try seven and eight on your own. And there you go. If you're getting these wrong or if you're all confused, please make sure you get some help. All right, so now what if you're asked to write an equation where you're only given two ordered pairs? So now this is similar to the question number four at the top of the paper where we had to stop because we weren't given a y-intercept, right? Well, what we can do is we can do point-slope form. So if we look at this, I need a point and I need a slope. In number nine, I've got two points. That's easy. The slope we have to figure out, right? So we're going to figure out the slope using the slope formula. So I'm going to subtract my y values on the top. So I'm going to do 12 minus 5, and then on the bottom I'm going to subtract my x values in the same order. So I'm going to do 1 minus negative 3, which is really 1 plus 3. And so 12 minus 5 is 7, and 1 plus 3 is 4. And that's in simplest form already. So we know our slope is 7 fourths. And so now you have two options to write, any, to write the form here. You can use either ordered pair. And you don't have to give me both, you just have to pick one. So one option would be to do the 1 12. So I could do y minus the y value of 12 is equal to the slope of 7 fourths. And then x minus the x value of 1. And you're done. There is point slope form. Or the other option is to use the other ordered pair. You could say y minus the y value of the other ordered pair, which is 5, equals the slope of 7 fourths. And then in parentheses, we're going to have the x minus negative 3, which ends up being x plus 3. So there's two options there. You really only have to give me one of them. Now, if you wanted to play around with this, if you put both of these into slope intercept form, then you would find that the slope and the y-intercept are the same. Go ahead and try number 10 on your own. And there is the answer. You only have to give me one of those forms, but either one are correct. Now let's flip it to the back. So here, we're now just going to take something that's in point-slope form, and we're going to graph it. So what I need to do is I need to first tell the information we already know, and then we're going to use that information to graph the line. So the information that we know is, first, we know the slope is negative 3. And we know that the opposite of negative 2 is our x value right here, and the opposite of 10 is our y value, so that would mean that we know the ordered pair 2, negative 10. So we're going to start at the ordered pair that we know the line goes through, which is 2, negative 10, which happens to be way down here. And we know the slope is negative 3, which typically we would want to go down 3 first to the right one, but we can't. So we have to do the opposite, which is up 3 to the left one, up 3 to the left one. And you get your other ordered pairs that way. And so this one is number 11. 
So let's go ahead and just draw the line and then write next to the line somewhere that that's number 11. All right, so now number 12. Number 12 is in point slope form. The slope, however, would be what comes in front of the parentheses. And there isn't anything there, so yes, it is 1. So you're going to say that the slope is 1. And then the point is the opposite of 1, which is negative 1, and the opposite of y, which is negative 4. So we are going to start at negative 1, negative 4. And we're going to go up 1 to the right 1 up one to the right one, or we could go down one to the left one, and then there is your line right there, so that's number 12. So go ahead and stop the video and try the next two problems on your own. And here are the answers for 13 and 14. If you don't have any questions on these, go ahead and continue to the next question. So if you go back up and look at number 11, look at the line that we labeled number 11. The slope of that line was negative 3, and the y-intercept happens to be 0, 4. And so I just wanted you to see what would happen if you put that equation into slope-intercept form, right? So I've got that equation, y plus 10 equals negative 3, and then x minus 2. Now, let's put that in slope-intercept form. And so I'm going to distribute the negative 3, and I'm going to get y plus 10 equals negative 3x plus 6, and then we're going to get y alone, so we subtract 10, and we get y equals negative 3x minus 4. Oops, I'm realizing I should have said that the y-intercept up here is 0, negative 4. So then this question, do the slope and the y-intercept match the line you drew? Sure does. Slope's negative 3, y-intercept's negative 4. And so that's just to show you that even though we have all these different forms, we can put them in um, slope-intercept form, and it's still the same line.